everyone and welcome to today's video. So today I feel like I need to address the big ass elephant in the room and that is that I have braces now. So if I talk a little funny or I sound funny or I look funny while I'm talking, please excuse this. Okay, so I am starting a new series on my YouTube channel and this is going to be called Sure not. <laughs> and since I'm Singaporean, so I feel like um, my content should have a little bit of like Singaporean sling to it, if you get what I mean. So sure not means like, are you sure? Like, are you sure this is not a gimmick or whatever? So this is what the title of this, what do you call it? Segment series is going to be called. The first products that I want to talk about in this series today are actually these uh, Kiss Me mascaras and these are super 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 highly rated in the Asian beauty community and actually a lot of um, like everybody raves about this basically so um, here I have the long and curl one which is the one that everybody raves about and everybody loves and this one as you can see is Cosme number one whatever that is I don't know but I have that and I also have the volume and curl one so basically I guess the difference is that one is supposed to be lengthening and one is volumizing but I just hear that these hold up a curl really really well especially for those with very straight Asian lashes like myself that does not hold a curl and it just kind of like troops down so uh, these are super waterproof and super black and they're just super amazing so we're gonna test these out okay so we are finally gonna test the mascara on our eyes and we shall test out the volume and curl one first so let's my curl my lashes and I'm gonna do it on my left eye because this eye um, actually has longer lashes than the other and so we can really see if like the long and curl will make a huge difference but for now let's focus on the volume and curl this is how the brush looks like and we have to wipe it down first because usually with the first application it's kind of like too much okay I think this is an Asian mascara thing but it's like it's quite subtle it's grasping the hairs quite well so I am quite impressed so I just want to say that my right lashes are very, very sad. <laughs> okay, they are very short, they're very sparse, and they are much less full than my left lashes. So if this mascara, so if this mascara can actually make the um, my lashes look even, that in itself is like a miracle. So, the brush is more curved. I have really high expectations of this mascara because everybody freaking raves about this. So, this one is not as clumpy as the Volume and Curl one, and it definitely lengthens pretty well. So, huh, interesting. I'm being really messy with my application right now because I really want this to like work so please excuse the messy <laughs> application but this is how the lashes look like with one coat I think that the long and curl is doing something magical because it kind of looks almost the same length as this which is really amazing so now we're gonna go in with the second coat and I know that it's really messy but we will clean it up later okay we'll make it look sweet sweet in a bit okay we'll see if this is a buildable mascara or if it just is clump galore. Yep, it is kind of like clump galore. It's quite clumpy actually. It's quite spidery right now, so I'm gonna stop here. So that is how the volume and curl looks like. Not too shabby because I put two coats and my lashes are still up. It's not drooping, so excellent. And now the long and curl. Okay. What I can say is that these mascaras dry very very fast so if you do want to layer I think you have to um, work very quickly while the formula is still dry otherwise it kind of just gets clumpy like that. So on this side I have the volume and curl and on this side I have the long and curl. 
since these claim to be super duper waterproof, I am going to do a splash test. I'm not going to bring you guys into the bathroom with me, but I'm just going to splash my face with water. And we're going to see if it flakes or crumbles or does any smudging. Um, so yeah, be right back. This is what you call dedication, you guys. <laughs> so as you can see, my shirt is wet and my face is even wetter. But yeah. This is 100% waterproof. Uh, in fact, there are water droplets on my eyelashes right now and it has not smudged one bit. It has held up really really well and it didn't even like droop my lashes or anything. It's just really really... It, it, it just did a really good job in holding up against the water. So yeah, I think this is very commendable. <laughs> This is amazing. Usually, I would have panda eyes by now, but this is... This is amazing. Wow. Should we do a smudge test? Should we? Is this mascara smudge proof? I don't even know, but I'm just gonna take my finger and... Holy shit! It didn't... It didn't even do anything. Look! There is nothing on my freaking pinky. I already know this is going to be a pain in the ass to take off, but this is amazing. Shit. Look, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm flipping you guys off, but look, nothing. Wow, okay, this is really, really waterproof. Okay, so I tried to dry myself as best as I could, and I tried to redeem myself and make myself look as chill as I possibly could after that water splash, but this is the best that I could come up with, so deal with it. But yeah, so overall, I think that uh, these mascaras are worth the hype, um, because they're super duper waterproof. Although, I have a feeling that these are going to be a pain in the ass to take off, but other than that, these are super waterproof, smudge-proof, flake-proof. So if you have very oily eyelids or whatnot, I think these would do amazing for you. Uh, in terms of the differences between the mascara, I don't think there's a huge difference. The volumizing one is a lot more volumizing though. Like, I feel like it darkened my lashes a lot more, and it is a little bit more clumpy, but if let's say you want to take pictures, um, and you want your lashes to look a little bit more full, then I think you should go with the volume and curl. But if let's say you're looking for just an everyday mascara, just to lengthen your lashes a little bit, you don't want anything too dramatic, then the long and curl would be a good option for you. In terms of formula, I think that these are quite the watery type. So they don't clump as easily as other mascaras, which I really appreciate because I'm not huge on spider lashes. And even though these mascaras can clump if you layer on too much, it's not too bad unless of course you put like three or four layers then obviously it will clump up like crazy one thing though is that these dry very very quickly so if you want to do a second layer i recommend that you do it like right away otherwise the mascara will dry and then it becomes clump city i can see why asian girls really really like this mascara because it holds a curl like there's no tomorrow look at this it's like fanned out and beautiful. So overall, I give these mascaras a big thumbs up. I think that these really are worth the hype. They are quite affordable. At You can get them at Watson's. They're like 20 something. I think 24, 90. This, this is a win-win. I really, really like these. And I think I'm down to try more Japanese mascaras now. All right, so that's it for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!